Hi Bulldogs, Chris Bryant, CCIE12933 here, and in today's three-minute video tutorial for CCNA and CCNP Switch students, we're going to talk about the destination MAC addresses and the actions that a Cisco Switch will take depending on what kind of destination MAC address we're looking at. Here's a table, actually the MAC address table from a live Cisco Switch, and I used this in a recent video on source MAC addresses as well, so you want to check that one out on the channel. But we know that the source MAC addresses are actually used to build this table, but this table is also used, of course, to decide how to forward a frame according to that destination MAC address. Now an incoming frame can be considered any of these by a Cisco switch. An unknown unicast, a broadcast, a multicast, or a known unicast. And the reason that I highlighted unknown there is that that particular term really threw me when I first started studying for my CCNA because I thought, well, if it's a unicast, how can the address be unknown? Well, what those terms actually refer to when we're here with known and unknown is whether the switch actually has an entry for that destination MAC address in that table that we just looked at. So if there is no entry, what's going to happen is that frame will be forwarded out every port except the one it came in on. If it is a known unicast address, it is going to be forwarded out that particular port only. And bringing our table back up, you can see these dynamic entries here in these particular ports. If a frame comes in destined for any of these three addresses, then that is a known unicast because there is an entry in the MAC table for the address. And therefore, let's say a frame was destined for this particular MAC address at the bottom of the list. Well, the switch is going to look at that and say, okay, I've got an entry for it, and here's the port, so I only need to forward it out port fast Ethernet 0 slash 4. If a frame comes in destined for an address that is not in this table, that is an unknown unicast, and it is, again, going to be flooded. It's going to be forwarded out every port except the one that it came in on. When it comes to this broadcast and multicast frames, by the way, they're handled in the exact same way that a Cisco switch is going to handle an unknown unicast frame. They are again forwarded at every port except the one they came in on. We don't get to say never very often in networking as you've already picked up on even if you're just beginning your studies, but a frame will never be forwarded out the same port it came in on. That's one of our rules that we actually have no exceptions to. Do note that of these four situations, only one of them really results in a true unicast where the frame is only forwarded out one particular port, and that's our known unicast. Hope you enjoyed this three-minute tutorial video. Make sure to check our YouTube channel and our blog for plenty of others. I'm Chris Bryant, CCIE12933.